guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Gonna learn brand new chili peppers right now. It literally just came out a few hours ago, so I just kind of whipped it up by ear. Uh, but I think I got all the main parts for you guys. Also, thanks for supporting Marty Music, subscribing, checking the links below. Let's rock. All right, we're gonna start with an E minor bar chord. So we're barring across seventh fret, A minor shape. Pinky comes off and we're gonna do a hammer on pull off on the 10th fret B string. The G string ninth fret with the pinky. And then also the ring finger, I think, I just learned this by ear, song only came out a few hours ago but naturally you would hammer on that D string ninth fret. So it looks like this. Next, I'm just playing that E minor full bar chord, but then with the slide, I'm just focused on that D, G, and B. And it's just a slide up and back, slide up and back. So all together. And so E minor bar chord is where the vocals start on the verse. Then G major, he would play it with a thumb. I'm gonna do bar, E minor, G. So E minor, G, D, D, A. So D major, A major. That's the fifth fret A root to fifth fret E root. That's major to E minor. Then it back hops over and now it's A minor. To E minor. And then I'm playing what I like to call the Hendrix major chord but really it's like a D major inversion. You can play that thumb over with the D, but to me it sounds right here in this spot, which would make sense. So I'm just keeping that bar and adding ninth fret A string. Just going, I mean you can make it all the way over to the B string. But it's real quick. Major. So from the top of the verse, E minor, G, D, D, A, E minor, now A minor, E minor, uh, 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 G, D, which I'm playing fifth fret A string, major bar chord, starts over, E minor, G, now the D, A, every other, the rhythm is a little different. The first one's always like on the upbeat. Second one is, is downbeat. D, A, E minor, A minor, E minor, D inversion, G. So then it goes into the first chorus, which is just still, the drums haven't kicked in. It's like a teaser for the later chorus. And so it's C major to G major. And then D major up to E major. So second time now. Now the drums kick in, the verse, basically second verse now, full band. And this is the same. Now check this out. It adds this chord, so it's still the same thing. So the second verse 
whole band kicks in, everything's the same. E minor, G, D, A, E minor, A minor, E minor, D, G, D. Here it comes right before this next chorus. Instead of going to D, it goes to a, basically you think of it as an E major. It's an E major chord, but it's got that G sharp A or A flat in the bass. You also see it with the Hendrix. And ultimately, you could even just play that D shape up a whole step, and if you can't reach that G sharp note, the bass is playing it. So it's really more about that. But if you can see, it's a tension like that. So it's like. Right, now the full chorus has uh, some extra stuff, not too, not hard though. So C, G, D, E, G, A, E, back to the C one, G, G, D, E, but now D, A, E, that's it, just a little extra. New part, D, A, E major. Then the first kind of guitar interlude kicks in and it goes back to E minor. So the solo is all E minor pentatonic with, you know, some of the added couple little added notes here and there, but the whole thing is E minor pentatonic and it's over the verse chords, a little more straightforward. Obviously, if they're gonna play it live, there's not gonna be rhythm guitar. And then just like that one with that tension chord, that E major, it that's what happens over the solo too. And this time you can play, you know, if you're even playing rhythm, you could be soloing. E major right there if you like. I think it's fuller and a little easier and you don't have to worry the, as much about that note right there, uh, at least in the recording. You know what I'm saying? It's more of a breaks down and it's just the very, you know, the very main chords of the verse. E minor, G, D, D, A, E minor. quiet and then BAM just like the chorus before it G A E C G D A but don't forget D A E now the outro instrumental you know guitar outro basically it's very similar to the verse the structure wise. And then he's uh, emphasizing chord tones as kind of a guitar part over it. So let's get into that. So you can play this right in the E minor pentatonic. All right, so. He improvises a, a bit, but the basic pattern 
uh, 14th fret A and D. So boom da bo bo da bo bo da. Then ring finger stays 14, but index goes to 12 of the D, same pattern. Then cover the A and D with your index finger on the 12th fret, same pattern. Then back to the 14th fret, A and D. But then it changes up to 12 on the A, 14 on the D. Then the 14 on the A and D. Then it's like a, I'm just forming the whole A major. But I'm not really hearing the D or A, it's just, it's more. But I think of it that way, it's like A sus four. A major. You know, he's improvising it a bit, but I'm just showing you the basic guts of it. You can mess around with it. The second time through. This time it's twice as long. Request stuff below, check the links, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you later.